Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on grey code in digital logic design or a switching theory and logic design. First point, grey code is a one type of binary code. What is the meaning of binary code? Binary code means the digital data that can be represented, stored and transmitted as a group of binary bits. This group is called as binary code. Okay, so hence we can say that grey code is a one type of binary code. Next, second point, grey code is a non-weighted code. So that means grey code does not obey the positional weighted principle. In grey code, we do not assign any positional weight for each and every digit in the grey code number. So hence, we can say that grey code is a non-weighted code. Next point, grey code is a cyclic code. So what is the meaning of cyclic code? A cyclic code is a code in which each successive code word differs by one bit from the preceding code word. So that is called as cyclic code word. So that means, suppose this is the grey code. Now we are considering, so this one and this one. Here, uh, 0, 0, 1, 0. Next one, 0, double 1, 0. Okay. So, for this one, this is the successive code word. 0, 1, 1, 0 is the successive code word. And preceding code word is, for this one, this is the preceding code word. 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay. Each successive code word differs from the preceding code word differs by only one bit position. So then hence it is called here 0, 0, same, 0, 1, here one bit difference, 1, 1, same, 0, 0, same. Okay, this is the successive code word. For this one, this is the preceding code word. Okay, each successive code word differs from the preceding code word in only one bit position. So that type of code is called as cyclic code. So hence we can say that cyclic code is also called as a unit distance code. Hence we can say that grey code is also called as a unit distance code. Okay. So in other words we can say that this is the grey code. In this grey code we are taking any two code words. For example, here this is one code word, this is another code word. By considering these two code words, these two code words differ only in one bit position. Here one one same, one one same, one one same, one zero. Here this bit is different from these two code words. Okay. So hence we can say that that type of code is called as a cyclic code. Okay, so hence we can say that grey code is also called as a unit distance code. Okay, next one. Grey code is not suitable for arithmetic operations or mathematical operations because grey code is not a successive uh, sequential code. What is sequential code? So, sequential code means each succeeding code word is one binary number greater than the preceding code word. Okay. Now consider this is the binary number. Okay. Now considering any two code words 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, how many number of bits are different? So only 0, 0, same, 
Here one zero one is there. Here one zero one is there. Here one zero zero is there. Here one zero zero is there. Okay. So zero to seven are the mirror image of eight to fifteen. So eight to fifteen are the mirror image of zero to seven. Okay. This property is satisfied in gray code. Hence, we can say that gray code is a reflective code. Now, so how to convert the uh, gray uh, binary number into equivalent gray code? Okay. Suppose one zero one zero base two that can be converted into equivalent gray code. We are taking one zero one zero. So this is the given binary number. Next, this is the LSB bit side and this is the MSB bit side. Okay, to convert this binary number to gray code number, we have to use XOR gate. In the case of XOR gate, both inputs are same. So then, what is the XOR output? That is zero. Both inputs are same. The XOR output is zero. Both inputs are different. Zero one one zero. Both inputs are different. Then XOR output is a one. Okay. Both inputs are same. XOR output is zero. Both inputs are different. XOR output is a one. Okay. So now this is the given binary number. This is the LSB side and this is the MSB side. Okay. Now what is the MSB bit? Is there? We are directly writing the MSB bit, same MSB bit in gray code. Next one, the MSB bit, then the next bit. So here MSB bit is one, the next bit is zero. Now we are performing the exclusive OR operation between these two bits. Here one, here zero. Both are different. Then output is a one. Okay. Now this zero and the next bit is one. Both inputs are different. Then output is one. Next one, this bit and this bit. Both bits are different. Then we are writing the output is one. Okay. For this uh, binary number one zero one zero base two, the XR or <clears throat> the gray code equivalent gray code is triple one. Now checking in this table. Here one zero one zero binary number. Here one zero one zero binary number. The equivalent gray code is triple one. Okay. Next one. Another example. Convert zero one one zero base two to equivalent gray code. So the given binary number is zero one one zero. This is the LSB bit and this is the MSB bit. Okay. First step is. We are directly write the MSB bit in the gray code. So here the MSB bit is zero. The zero can directly write in gray code. Next one, the MSB bit and the next bit. So these, by considering these two bits, we are performing the exclusive operation, exclusive R operation. Here both bits are different. Then output is one. Okay. Next, this bit and the next bit is one. So here both inputs are same. Then the output is zero. XR output is zero. Now considering this bit and this bit, both bits are different. The XR output is a one. Okay. So first step is whatever the MSB bit is there, that MSB bit directly write in gray code. Next, we are performing the exclusive R operation between MSB bit and the next bit. Next bit is one, zero and one. But here both inputs are different. The exclusive R output is a one. Next one, this is this bit and the next bit is one. Here we are performing the exclusive R operation between these two inputs. Both inputs are same. Then XR output is zero. Now we are considering this bit and this bit. So here both inputs are different. The XR output is a one. Okay. So the equivalent gray code is zero one zero one for the given binary number zero one one zero. 
here 0 1 1 0 here it is there the corresponding green code is 0 1 0 1 here 0 1 0 1 we are getting so in this way the given binary number can be converted into equivalent gray code okay so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel link Develop Srinivasarao.